Okay, today may seem like a bit of a rant. I promise you it's not. However, it is about failure and why I have to watch my students fail at the beginning of the year. Interested? Stay tuned. Okay, so today uh, it hit the fan, so to speak. I had a lot of students that, um, predictably, this happens every year. Essentially, when you have this kind of class or when you have a genius hour, they're gonna come out with all these ideas. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. And that's called uninformed optimism. They get excited about talking about a project. They get excited about wanting to make a difference. Um, and it's fun to talk about. This is like the lottery ticket mentality. Like when you buy a lottery ticket, you start talking about all the things you're gonna do for your mom when you win. But it's a fantasy, you're not going to win. Same thing a lot of times happens in the innovation class or in Genius Hour projects, is that you're like, I'm going to code this app, or I'm going to raise money for this blah, blah, blah. The reality is, is it's hard and it takes work. And this year I've been working really hard to allow them to fail quicker. So I said literally next to nothing to scold them and to, are you working? How is it going? I just kind of let them be. I'd make some subtle reminders, but after two weeks, which was today, they're submitting their reflection. Except the nice thing is I meet with them because it's harder to lie to me to my face. You can make up a lot of fluff online. You can like submit a blog and like over the last two weeks, I have detailed uh, my documented blah, blah, blah. I made some calls and, and it makes you, you're re repackaging stuff. When you have to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me, it's a lot harder to repackage stuff. But my hope is, is that this is what most people go through. Uninformed optimism, once you start getting out of that, you start going into the informed pessimism. And here's my point for this video. The informed pessimism is all of a sudden you see what you're up against. So that whole, I can change the world and I can do anything, quickly changed into, oh, this is harder than I thought, which can lead to the pit of despair or the crisis of meaning. I mean, I gotta remember when I first started teaching, I was going to change education. I was going to be that teacher. And after the first year, I'm like, no, I'm not. Matter of fact, this sucks. And so I had to have an honest conversation with myself to get out of that crisis of meaning. And then I started to like plan out and have measurable goals on the things that I wanted to do. This is the same thing with people wanting to lose weight. I'm going to lose 20 pounds this year, great. After like three months, people haven't lost any weight and then they're like, oh, that's terrible. I'll never be able to lose weight. They'll give up hope. What I'm trying to get my students and really any adults uh, that want to know this is that after that informed optimism, get out of that informed pessimism, start setting measurable goals. What are you going to do? So if you're like, I'm going to lose weight, how? What are you gonna cut back on? Are you gonna exercise? Are you gonna take account on what you're eating and what you're not eating? Because if, if you can start getting them to take manageable chunks and you can start setting out manageable goals, then they can start getting into that informed optimism. They know exactly what they're up against and they know what how difficult it is but make no mistake about it, you have to let people go through that failing on their own. Because even though I saw these things coming a mile away, I had to keep my mouth shut this year, which has been the hardest thing for me just to keep my mouth shut and watch them do it. I've given them suggestions, but after two weeks, it's been nice to know that I have watched them fail. Some, some of my other, I've got some kids that are high flying, but hopefully they'll start getting into that phase of informed optimism, not uninformed optimism. That's a rant. Hopefully today has brought you joy. I have one more day of reflections tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. But tomorrow is mail time. If you have questions for me, let's have them. I'd like to answer. Plus, if uh, I'll choose one person that submits a question, I'll send you a book. How about that? Also got a, a, some more books coming to us from authors. Uh, matter of fact, I think I have an extra copy of JT McCormick's I Got There. So I will give away two books this week. Submit a question. Thanks so much. Don Wetrick, somewhat irritated, telling you opportunities are everywhere. See ya.